Tracking your macros is a bad idea. Now, especially at first when you're trying to get in shape, whether you're trying to gain muscle, lose fat, it does not matter. Counting your macros as the first step of trying to get your diet in order is a horrible idea. And here's why. Most people associate tracking with some kind of shame. Tracking creates a separation between where you are right now with your habits and where you want to get. And it's super, super clear. It's so vivid that you're, that you're tracking it metrically. You actually see numbers associated with this thing. And again, especially when you are a complete beginner, this is like a mountain climber who is brand new to mountain climbing, showing up in front of a giant mountain, looking up at the top and making that comparison of like, here's where I am. Here's all of the steps that I have to go through to climb this mountain. And what's the result of that, right? It's a complete collapse of your confidence. All you really want to do at that point is crawl back into your shell, go back to your old bad habits and forget that you even had these goals in the first place. In my opinion, this is exactly what counting calories is. It's a complete overstep of the first few things that you need to really do to make sure that you're getting yourself in order to actually start seeing progress. This is something I see all the time in beginners. It's like when they say that your eyes are bigger than your stomach when you're going for a meal, right? They, they, there's all these things that they want to start doing. They want to start doing these really high level workouts, tracking everything, having everything laid out in this perfect process. A lot of the time this is fun and it feels really productive. It feels like your identity shifting right then and there. You're actually foreseeing this person that you're going to become and you're mapping it out in front of you. But the vast majority of the time when you actually start to take action, it becomes overwhelming. You now have all of these elements that you feel like you're obligated to track. And a lot of the time it can just lead you to burn out. It's too much. It's too complicated for a beginner. The reality is that in the first, really the first three years of your fitness journey, you can keep things incredibly simple. When it comes to your diet, just focus on cleaning it up. Just focus on getting rid of as much food that is processed with excessive salt and excessive sugar as you possibly can. Just focus on improving your hydration and eating more whole fruits and vegetables. And if you want to track, these are absolutely things you can track. You can track at the end of the week. Just do a quick reflection. How do I feel about my diet overall? Do I believe that the quality overall was pretty good? Or do I realize consciously right off the top of my head that there were things that I screwed up on? There are things that I could improve next week, but that is plenty. Don't overwhelm yourself. Stick with the basics. Just focus on showing up to do your workouts every day. Just focus on trying to make every single day's meals 1% better than they were yesterday. But overall, just remember, if you bite off more than you can chew, you might end up not chewing any of it at all.